Okay, today I'm going to Top Kappa Palace. Look at those buttresses they had to add to stop the whole thing from splaying out and collapsing. Nice shadow run here. And there's the front entrance to the palace. What an impressive portcullis. And we're in. So this is one of the many royal courtyards. To think this is from where the entire Ottoman Empire was administered. These are the imperial kitchens. Apparently this is where they invented halva. Anyone ever had halva? What a capital. This is ancient. A relic of Byzantine era. Look at that face up there. What an incredible Corinthian column. All these buildings are so well preserved. They're so beautiful. I wonder what's in over here. Technique. And you can see a lot of relics from different period of the so called period. They had the gifts, and you can see Rogal Stick of Moses, Stick of Moses,
chamber of the holy relics. They have Quran recitation going off 24-7 here. Oh my lord. Do you know what this is? This is the sword of the prophet David. Can you believe this? This is the one he literally threw on the ground and it turned into a snake. This is the one he showed to the Pharaoh when he demanded to let his people go. It's right here. This is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. John the Baptist's arm and skull bone. There, you can see John the Baptist's bones inside this arm. That's his right arm. He baptized Jesus with that arm. Are you kidding me? And there's his cranium, encased in gold. Bro, that housed the brain of the guy that baptized Jesus. This is mind-blowing. say about that. That's truly amazing. My Turkish friends told me about this. Footprint of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This was Prophet Ibrahim's stone pot. Quran recitation for hundreds of years in this room. There's a letter from the Prophet Muhammad. I don't know if he wrote it, because I know he's illiterate, so... Someone else must have written that, but still, he dictated that. I love to write down what he dictated. There's a tiny little hair inside there, I don't know if you can make it out. But that was Prophet Muhammad's beard hair. Okay. Caliph Abu Bakr. These were all Prophet Muhammad's best friends. Prophet Muhammad's daughter Fatima's coat. This is honestly quite the collection. Well done guys, well done. That was quite something, honestly. My mind is now blown. Bruh, what was that? 
I can't get over that. I've never seen so many relics from the Abrahamic religions all in one place like that. A capital from an old Byzantine column. Let's check out the inside of this building. It's bound to be nice. out of an old Byzantine column base. This column looks older than anything else around here. I wonder what's down there. So much of this place was clearly built with old scavenged Byzantine materials. Because Constantinople was pretty much in ruins when they conquered it, so it's just free building materials everywhere part of the reason why some of these buildings look older than they actually are. treasures this place has. Spoonmaker diamond. Wow. Now there's a seriously expensive looking jewel. Priceless really. I'm gonna get over there into Asia. Look, you can see the Theodosian walls going around the coast. This is the treasury, by the way. In case you couldn't tell from all the treasure. Look at these amazing emeralds. Now those are some fancy pistols. Wow, this marble's really slippery. That's fun. An incredible palace complex this is. A 
I've never seen such nice Ottoman architecture. shoe covers on to come in here. Fair enough. Look at that mirror. sign off here and try to come to grips with what in the world I just witnessed. <laughs>